Have you ever wondered what somebody who's losing weight on intermittent fasting is actually eating? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna go over everything that I've eaten in the last week. Hey, so this week was still a holiday week. Uh, Christmas was just the day before this, so I'm still gonna be not very disciplined in my eating throughout the week, but I'm still gonna hit all of my fasts, track my calories, and for the most part, this was a fairly good week for me. And this week, just like last week, I'm going to eat a ton of Rice Krispies throughout the week. That's because I only get them one time a year when we go home and my mother-in-law makes them around Christmas time. So I absolutely love these Rice Krispies treats. So that's not going to be the last time you see them. We went out uh, this night with some friends from college. It was a really good time. Um, went out, had some great dinner, had a healthy dinner there with the brisket, green beans and potatoes. But I drank a lot of alcohol uh, this night and... You know, a lot of people wonder whether or not you can have alcohol while intermittent fasting. And for me personally, I like to have balance. I don't drink a lot. Hear me on YouTube now. Oh, oh shit. YouTube. Oh, boy. Who's gonna be on YouTube? Cheers. Cheers. So I went to school in Orlando at UCF, but friends came over in medicine, Melbourne, Florida, where I'm from, and we did a little uh, bar hop thing there in downtown Melbourne, went to a few places and went to a German restaurant and had that giant pretzel, which was delicious. So as you can see there, I only did a 10 hour fast Saturday to Sunday, woke up and had some Rice Krispies treats. Um, and then on our way, on our drive back to Jacksonville, we stopped at Culver's, which again, I don't eat a lot. Um, just whenever we go to Melbourne, it's a really good burger place. And I had two double mushroom and Swiss burgers. And what I did to be able to fit these in and still maintain my weight is I had these two burgers, a milkshake and the Rice Krispies treats, but then that's all that I had. So I stopped eating Sunday at about one o'clock and then I went into a 26 hour fast and I didn't break my fast until Monday uh, the following day. So I still was within my calorie targets for Sunday, about 2,700 calories. And then I just did a longer fast uh, leading me into Monday. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, do me a favor and smash that like button right now. So these 72% cacao dark chocolate Ghirardelli squares are something that I got in my stockings for Christmas. So I'm eating the rest of those throughout this week, but that's something that I may pick up um, because I really do enjoy that the way those taste and they're not too sweet and something that I can just have, you know, one or two of and enjoy it. So that's something I may pick up and continue eating moving forward. And then again, some mixed nuts, just a good uh, healthy snack. And then sushi for dinner. I absolutely love sushi. Um, I've been eating it ever since I was in college. Just a huge fan. Um, so I'm probably eating sushi once every other week. So you can see there, that was my youngest daughter. I have two girls, a three-year-old and a six-year-old. And one of the things that I try to do throughout uh, this weight loss and throughout my transformation is I'm trying to pick up habits and do things in such a way that I can continue to be a dad and a father. Um, I've done the bodybuilding type diets before, back when I was in college and right after college where I'm eating you know, six small meals a day, measuring out all my macros doing all my meal prep and being very strict in my calorie and eating, but that's not something that I can maintain now, working a job, doing YouTube, um, being a father. So I go for simplicity and something that I can execute on. You know, one of my sayings, it's action over perfection. Uh, so that's one of the things you'll kind of notice throughout with my food choices is I am choosing things that I know that I can eat on a regular basis 
um, that are fairly healthy. They may not be the best, but it's something that I can be consistent on and consistency is key. So in addition to the Rice Krispies treats and the Ghirardelli squares, the other thing that I wanted to finish off this week was I had these white chocolate fudge covered Oreos. Um, I got two boxes of those for Christmas and over the next three days, I was going to finish those two boxes off um, just so that I could get them out of the house. And again, I'm allowing myself the flexibility to have a few weeks over the holidays where my goal isn't to lose weight. It's just to maintain and not put on too much weight because I do want to enjoy the holidays. So I'm going to finish those off. And as the new year rolls around, you know, it came time for me to set my goals and think about what I'm going to do in the new year. And one of the things that I kind of got clarity on was I'm not going to do anything crazy in the new year. I'm going to double down on what I have done so far that has been successful for me. And that is keeping it simple. One adjustment I am going to make in the new year is I am going to change my calorie target. So over the last 10 to 11 weeks, I've been averaging about 2,900 calories a day. Um, my weight hasn't changed too much over the last 10 weeks. I've lost about five or six pounds. Really these last four weeks, I've been in a little bit of a plateau, but I'm gonna change my calorie target to 2,400 calories. Um, my ultimate goal is to get down to about 180, 185 pounds. Um, so I've got about another 25, 30 pounds to go, and I would like to reach that goal um, by April. So I'm going to change my calorie target um, from 2,700 down to uh, 2,400 uh, over the coming months. And then we got into New Year's Day. Now, you've seen these a few times throughout today's video, and this is going to be one of my go-tos throughout the year. It's these blackened Tyson chicken strips. If you have not had them yet, I highly recommend them. Tyson is not a sponsor, but if you know anybody there, please reach out. I would love for them to sponsor me and provide me with those blackened chicken strips. Uh, right now, we've only been able to find them at Target, um, but they are perfect. They're 110 calories per serving, and I'm usually eating anywhere between three and five servings at a time. They are absolutely delicious. I cook them in the air fryer, and that's one of the things I'm going to do. I'm going to substitute my fried chicken tenders that I'm normally getting for those Tyson blackened chicken strips. And just making small changes like that is how I'm going to hit my new calorie target of 2,400 calories without changing too much. Um, because again, you don't wanna make drastic change if you want the change to last. And so again, so my goal in the new year is at the one year mark, I'd like to be down um, about 80 pounds. Let me know in the comments below, what is your new year's resolution and what one thing are you going to commit to uh, to make sure that it happens? Don't take on too much. Just commit to one thing. Let me know in the comments below. Again, if you've been enjoying this content and following along my journey and want to continue to get tips and strategies to meet your weight loss goals, I would please encourage you to hit that subscribe button. Let me know that you'd like to see more content like this. And be sure to reach out and let me know what I can do uh, to help you in your journey. Uh, as well as let me know what you'd like to see out of these week of eating videos. Uh, if you're new to intermittent fasting or interested in starting your own weight loss journey, I'm going to leave some videos on the screen now that I encourage you to check out. This is, these are some great resources for getting started with intermittent fasting, and I'll see you over there. Thanks again for watching.